Hi, it's Quinn from Sync, and today we're gonna to talk about call for help and how to create prompts and channel mappings from Microsoft Teams. So to show you what we need to do, uh, we'll just hop onto my computer screen here and uh, on the main dashboard, once you're signed in, just go down to call for help and you can scroll down and see a bunch of options in here. Specifically, we'll be talking about Teams channels and the call for help prompts that you see on my screen. So under Teams channels, you'll see these two options. One is for the default call for help channel. The other is your default management channel. So the management channel, its purpose is to receive a notification specifically when maybe a time limit has been exceeded. This will be when a message just goes ignored for a little bit too long. It gets sent to the management channel for a manager to deal with or allocate to another staff member. And the default call for help channel is where a message would go if you don't specify exactly where it needs to go within the call for help display. So scrolling down, we've got a list of prompts. These are options you can choose. Uh, you can grab up to four of them and that's what will be displayed on each display. Display is just a collection of prompts that the customer can choose from when they scan a QR code to get into Call for Help. Scrolling down a bit further, we've got our displays. These are where all of those prompts are grouped. So for this tutorial, I will walk you through creating a new prompt and then editing or creating a Call for Help display and then mapping that display to a Teams channel so you can notify the right party. So let's go create new prompt. So I'm gonna click Create New Prompt. I have this option highlighted here, save option to organization because I'm an admin. Someone with store level access won't see this option, but that's okay. When they create new prompt, it'll just get stored locally for the store. It won't affect any of the others. If I leave this checked as an admin, this will affect all the other stores. So in the screen, we're gonna create a new call for help option. Languages supported for the store are English and French. So we get options for adding both. Uh, for adding customer text, uh, let's say need help with bikes and for the staff prompt a uh, customer needs help with bikes so i'll create this the top bit is what the customer sees as an option the bottom bit as the staff prompt is what the staff sees in their team's notification so i will go ahead and create that and there it is so we can scroll down and we can edit one of these displays or create a new one i'm just going to go edit we'll do call for help demo and we can choose a couple of different options here so request assistance at locking showcase need tools Request to speak to a manager. This one doesn't have anything selected, so let's just add something to it. So, need help with bikes. So we can enable it with a QR code, and then we can choose the Teams channel. So if your default is something else, that's okay. If you want this one to go somewhere specific, like upstairs staff, because maybe that's where you keep the bikes, it's probably the right call. I'm just gonna leave this one selected. And for management, I'm gonna leave this one selected as well. But you can choose any of the ones available uh, if it makes sense for your store. Go ahead and save it. And that's all there is to it. So now if I scan the QR code on my phone, I have a few options to choose from for exactly. One of those options when I select it will go directly to the Teams channel that I've chosen. And if it takes too long to get to a staff member, it'll go to a manager in that management channel that I selected. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'm Quentin. If you want to learn more about our products, stay tuned, subscribe, give us a like, and we'd really appreciate it.